Hello again to the Honor community and welcome to the Gaming with Pro series of videos that I am going to hopefully start making with the 9X Pro, but this is being made with the Honor 20 Pro and the Honor View 20, which is happily creating the video that you see in front of you. Now, on the app gallery, now you will find a game called Asphalt 9, the ninth in the series of Gameloft signature se um, racing series. They have been going since 2005 with the series, and I must admit I've played most of them because they've been mobile gaming's best racers and as a racing gamer that started all the way back with Super Monaco Grand Prix in 1993, I've been playing these games for a long, long, long time. So, without further ado, let's have a quick look at this. As I said, Game Loft have been doing this a long while and they have become quite good. So, we've got the main screen in front of you here. You've got the shop where you can buy upgrades for your cars, buy new cars, and put all sorts of stuff on there. You've got all the different passes which you unlock by playing, and I need to play a bit more. And you have got your currencies, which the first one is earned by playing, the second one you can also buy. Now let's get into a race, because that's what you want to see here, don't you? So, I am a few into this one. Let's start the next one. As you can see, you get the race goals, which is to finish in certain positions. You have the rewards, which are blueprints for your cars, and you have the recommended rank for your car on the event. You click next, you see your car. My car is up to 539 rank. I have used a few upgrades, and it just makes it a bit easier to, to win these races. So let's get straight into here. This game is being currently controlled using touch drive, which is a way of making it so you only control the bits like that on the screen, where you get to choose what paths you want to go on in the way of winning these races. You can probably see here that you have a boost meter, which you fill up to the maximum, then you can double tap and you can perform all sorts of little stunts using the double tap button, oh, as this tells you. There we go. And as you can see, you can also perform knockdowns, you can perform nitro boosts upon nitro boosts. You can flip the car over, and there we have it, another victory. For winning, as you can see, you receive all of these cards and reputation points which help you in clubs if you want to join with other players. You also receive your credits for winning, and you receive bonuses for certain events in the race. You also have missions to collect the currency within the game if you perform certain actions, such as receive reputation ranks and barrel rolls and airtime and that sort of thing. You receive more of the in-game currency as well. There's also a leveling system, as you can see, which refills your gas level. Your gas level is basically how many races you can play at once. You get five in one go and then it resets over about half an hour or so. So let's just have a quick look in the shop. And as you can see, you can see you can buy credits with the asphalt currency and you can buy asphalt currency with your real money. So you can basically go around the houses to get money. You can either play a lot or you can cheat a bit. And also, you have these cards which you receive every so often, which are upgrade cards for your car as well. So, let's look at our car. 
and look at upgrades. You have four stages of upgrades, nitro, top speed, acceleration, and handling. Let's chuck a bit onto the top speed, shall we? Make it a bit faster. There we go. And then you've got in the garage as well. You have other cars that you can go for. It tells you if you want other cars, what you need to do to unlock it. In this case, I've got two more races I need to unlock, and then I get this BMW Z4. So let's do a couple more races, shall we? There we go. As you can see, the graphics on this game are pretty good. This is being projected onto a 4K screen and it still looks pretty good. I am playing on my Honor 20 Pro using the touchscreen controls. The game also is fully compatible with the Xbox One controller when you use Bluetooth mode, which is the newer controllers. So if you have a controller and want a bit more control, you can do that too. But yes, as you can see, you select on the screen the little events you want to do. And if you do it well, well, you get lots of boost. And lots of boost means lots of wins. And you can also select what part of the track you go on as well. Whee! There we go, another one close to that Z4. Right. Okay, now, you're wondering, probably, why I'm showing you this on the TV rather than on the phone. Well, I've got a little party piece of the Honor series of laptops and phones. If you have a Honor laptop, that is the Magic Book series and an Honor phone with Magic UI 3 or above, there is a feature called Magic Link. And this phone is currently demonstrating this. If I move across, you'll see my laptop screen, which is currently playing Asphalt 9, which is because it is on this little device here. All three. Now look at that, isn't that fun? Now, my phone is connected to the laptop via Magic Link and is connected to the TV then by HDMI because the wireless protection wasn't working. That shows that what you can do with the Honor series and gaming with Pro. You can play on your phone, you can project it to your magic book, and then you can put it on the big screen so you if so you wish. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I hope you check out the Honor UK community, which will be in the link, and have a great day. Thank you.